Good morning guys, so we just arrived at the Vatican City. So we are gonna walk around and go on tour there this morning, which should be interesting. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what it looks like and everything that's inside. Again, Gretchen and I slept three hours last night, so I'm super tired. But something interesting about going here is that you have to wear like clothing that covers your shoulders and also your knees. So I had to put on this really long dress. This isn't what I wanted to wear today, so I have to bring my backpack and then I am going to change into a cute bumper. City of the Vatican City I think that's how you say it but we are gonna go into Rome right now like the actual city part and walk around and go back to the Colosseum and take some pictures and get lunch and gelato and hang out but it was really fun I liked seeing everything it was so interesting and like the artwork was absolutely beautiful but I didn't want to like talk too much in there so that's why I kind of just took videos and showed you guys so I hope that you got an idea of what it looks like and if you ever come to Rome I definitely recommend going there I'm so sad that we didn't get more time to spend in Rome because it's so pretty here I, I feel like so much time in Rome. I feel like our time was kind of like a limit oh hi hey. I feel like our time was limited here just because we didn't have a lot of free time we did a lot of tours yeah maybe that would have been the same in the other cities if we actually went to the tours I feel like we were in Florence for so long me too because we had like two full days I loved it me too I love this area right here. We're gonna stop and take some pictures before getting on our bus. But look guys, there's literally palm trees in the middle of this little park. And Tyson was like, yeah, we have palm trees here. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. This reminds me of like Boston Common. And we finally found a shady place to wait for our bus. And the bus was supposed to be here at 11.33, and it's 11.38, so either the bus is really late or the bus like isn't coming. Can you guys know if you know where schedules aren't real? I don't know. That's why I don't really like public transportation like this. I think it's so much easier to just walk or like grab a taxi. I get so confused with buses and stuff. But I'm so glad that I have Gretchen with me right now because she literally, wait, wait, hold it over there. Because Gretchen's literally so good at like navigating us through the city with Google Maps. Maggie's so good at it. Around. I can turn around and she'll know the general like, area on the map, but then like instead of going right on the street that we need to go on, she'll go left. I'll go like, left. Like, left. Like, honestly, like I'm better at going places like with my knowledge. Like once we go somewhere, yeah. I'll like, know how to go there. Yeah. 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 I'll like know how to like bring my Tupperware yeah. around. Yeah. 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 But if I have to look at a map, I don't know. So like at least with each other. Yeah. Because like the other day I was like, oh, we go to this city. Like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, stuff, like, so then I want to know how to go back to Mm-hmm. But we're almost at the Coliseum. I'm so excited. And we're going to take pictures here because yesterday we didn't get to, obviously, because we went on that big, long tour, and we didn't want to, like, make our food wait and stuff. So we were like, you know, we're just leaving back there. Yeah. We made it. Okay, now we need to find somewhere to sit so we can get a good view. I think we're going to try to sit 
over here. Look how cool it is. Like, you cannot say that that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Wow. That thing's been here for so long and it took eight years to build. I think that's insane. Guys, look what I got. I'm so excited. And my pizza came, but Gretchen's didn't yet. But I just got the Caprizi pizza and then a spritz. Mine's so random. It's gonna be with me. <laughs> Potatoes and bacon. Like, what am I doing? Look at Gretchen's. It finally came and it's really scary. Okay, truffle oil soup. But we tried it yesterday when we were. I just don't like truffle. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't like truffle oil because I like ate way too many truffle fries. I like this. Matches my outfit. My drink does. And they gave me two straws. For generous. Mmm. This bread is really good on my pizza. I feel like it has like a little kick to it. Mm. It just has tomato, mozzarella, basil. Hey guys. So we're on our way to dinner now. Um, after lunch and everything, Gretchen and I went back to the hotel and I actually slept for like three hours just because I was so tired. Insert my Instagram story. Oh God. And you're so peaceful. Then Gretchen like tried to pack a little bit while I was sleeping, but we're really just gonna do it when we get home. But I'm gonna try to vlog a lot at dinner just because I haven't really been vlogging at the dinners to show you guys in case like you wanna come on one of these trips and like see what it's like. Well, as we're walking to dinner, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about our trip just because a lot of you have been um, like leaving comments and messaging me on Instagram and having like so many questions about it. And I just want to tell you guys like in a video so I can address it all at once. And so we are on this trip with EF Ultimate Break and we are on the Venice Florence Rome trip. And it's so much fun. It's literally the most amazing trip I've ever been on. And we, wait, what's been your favorite city? I, I don't know. I feel like all the different cities like, have such different vibes. Like, I, I love Florence. Rome and so I love different. Florence and I love Venice for the photos. Like, I don't know, they're all just so different. So and different. I just feel like this trip is like something that I, like, I don't know, I'm just like so happy I went on it. And I feel like coming I with you're so cold EF now. Ultimate Break is just like the best way to go abroad if you've never gone abroad before because they literally have like all of your stuff planned for you. Like, you go on tours. You eat um, different meals, you do different events, you have a tour guide, you have all of your flights and all of your hotel and literally every single like transportation is included in the price you pay. Okay. So it's basically like you pay once and then everything's included, which I think is so nice. Like you don't have to worry about like figuring out where to stay. You don't have to worry about, oh well I'm going to this city, like I want to see all these things. Like your tour guide literally sets and up everything for you. Exactly. And okay. if you don't speak the language, like they help you and it's so um, helpful because I just feel like it can be very intimidating going to a different country when you've never been before like me. So I feel like it was so nice that I like got to come on this trip with them because they helped me so much and they made my experience so amazing. So I have a code for you guys, it's actually Maggie100 and I'll have it on the screen and you can use my link below to get $100 off your trip. And like I said before, Gretchen and I are on the Venice Florence Rome trip. So if you guys wanna go on this trip, you can click the link, you can look at everything we did and there's literally so many other ones. Like there's one to Greece, like I the know. Greece islands and we we're like, go to that one. oh my God, I need I to go, go on that Greece. one. Like it was so much fun that I like wanna plan another one and I feel like it's perfect too if you're like going with a friend or even like boyfriend, girlfriend and you like need some guidance on what to do. Like I highly recommend planning with this company just because I know it's literally like stress free yeah. and it's all so easy and we've met such great people and we've just had the best time ever. Last dinner in Italy I got the gnocchi with the tomato basil sauce and Gretchen got this one. No, I feel like this one's so you. But I've drive this whole trip is every time I eat, I've always wished that I had what you had. Really? <laughs> That's literally Emma. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. it. Looks so good. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, this lady is gonna be really bad unless I go like this. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna make it right here. So one thing that they told us is that the Italians hate when you wait for your food and wait for everybody to eat. They want you to eat it right away because it's actually rude if you let it get cold. <laughs> That's so good. That is so good. These are like mini gnocchis. And if you guys don't know what gnocchi is, it's like a potato pasta. Can I try yours? Yeah, go for it. They're really good. Ew, what is that? Oh god, get that off. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh my god, my hair is so messy. We just finished our dinner and it was so good and it was so like sad because Tyson was talking about all the stuff that we've done on the trip. And it was really emotional, like I'm gonna miss it here. But it's all good because now I know that like I love it here so much and I definitely wanna come and back. We'll come back. We're coming so back. So I'm Rome. coming back. Like I'm literally coming back to Rome. And I feel like it'll be good now because we can like get our hotels. I want to stay in the city. I, mean, I want to stay go, somewhere yeah. that's like close literally right to, in the city. Yeah. And like close to everything. And when I go to Venice, I want to stay right in Venice. Just so like you're right near everything and can walk around everywhere and like I not have like to worry about like transportation. Here coming we're, like, in close to um the Trevi Fountain Coliseum. Like we're only like a mile and a half, two miles out. Yeah. But like I'd rather be like close. Be like close, close. That's what I want to do too. So now I'm gonna go back to Boston and literally eat healthy for the next like week until we go on our other next secret trip, trip which i haven't even like told you guys about what yet and i'm not going to say it i'm going to text them right no now one so they don't say anything say because i want but, to so i'm going to eat healthy and i'm going to soul cycle tomorrow i'm really excited about tomorrow? that yeah no monday monday but it's going to feel like tomorrow yeah it's going to be like tomorrow and get Oh no, we still get back Sunday. I'm so confused. Yeah, we so I'm gonna back. do Seoul. And I'm so excited to finally work out again. I literally need to work out so bad. I feel like I haven't worked out in forever. Guys, look at this bathroom we're in at this hotel. I really like it. Gretchen is vibing out. I don't wanna go back. We literally need to pack and stuff to go home. And I heard Gretchen talking when I was going pee. We literally have like, a, how long is our layover? We have a long layover. <laughs> we have like a three hour layover tomorrow in Montreal, which is gonna be really, really tough. Remind me when I come back to Rome to stay at this hotel. It's literally so pretty. Like what? What piece is gorgeous? Gretchen just informed me, they got me like each other so we can spend all this time together. It's a good thing we like each other so much so we can spend like 10 days together. And I know, and then we're gonna spend so many more. more. I didn't either. Oh. I like you. Now we're gonna go to Giacomo's. <laughs> no, not Giacomo's, but like literally this really cute place that we walked by the other day and we were it's like, oh, like we should go there. Just Wait, is this it, Gretchen? Yes. Um, this is where we wanted to go. Wait. <laughs> I thought it was like. You wanted a white table. Oh wait, we don't want food. Hmm. So we came to Giacchi's to get a drink because we thought it was like a little chill lounge area, but it's really a fine dining restaurant. <laughs> so we're gonna go. I think there's one somewhere around here though. Maybe near our hotel. I don't wanna leave. I think there's all these people whipping around. What are those, best friends? Are they mobiles? Mobiles. <laughs> yeah, but isn't it best Oh, so cute. Best is from... Oh. Vespa is from, um, no, 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 what's it called? Vespa. They rode one on Gossip Girl. Oh. When Serena and Dan went on the date, oh. they rode a Vespa. Is, what's the difference between I a think. Vespa and a moped? Let us know. Oh, it, yeah, I have no idea, but the episode was when Serena and Dan went on a date, and he, like, saved up all of his money to, like, get her car Wait service. What? That's the bus stop we went to. This is a wrong color. Oh. Oh yeah, it's yeah, up it's way. up we this way. Oh, um, it's right so, there. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Serena and Dan went on a date, and he like saved up all his money to get a car service for her because he thought like, oh, this girl has so much money, like that's, that's all she likes is a car service. And she went outside and saw the Vespa on the side of the road and was like, oh my god, Dan, like a Vespa, this is the best day of my life, like this is gonna be so fun. Grabbed the helmet and went to get on, and he was like, oh, like that's not our car and then like the car service pulled up and opened the door for her and she was like oh because she like didn't want to go in the car with the car service she like wanted to go on the low-key vespa with dan i'm gonna watch it i was like can we watch it after we pack <laughs> and do all the things that we have to do i know we have some and then we can i want to rewatch all of gossip girl me too i want to rewatch gossip girl too but i really don't think i have the time because when i watched it was my senior year of high school during field hockey season and robbie like <laughs> And Robbie was a freshman in college, and so I was a senior, and he like was away at school, and I was so bored, I had nothing to do, so all I did was watch Gossip Girl. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's my favorite show ever.